Hello, welcome to the video lecture series on C programming language. In today's class, we will discuss the basics of C programming language. We will first of all discuss why it is termed as language and then we will also discuss what is programming. First of all, we will discuss what is language basically. Bhasha kya hai? So as we know, a language is just a means of communication between two sides. Let's say for example, there are two persons and want to make a communication, then there must at least there must exist at least a common language which could be understood by both the sides. For example, for two human beings, either it may be Hindi or it may be English. Then only the communication will be possible. So we can say that the language is just a means of communication. Take another example. When there are two persons, but they do not know any common language. For example, a person knows Hindi and the another person knows English. Then, there will be no possibility to establish a communication between two sides because there is no common language. Again, we can say that a language is just a means of communication or to establish a communication between two sides, we require at least a common language. Now, take the example of current scenario when the human beings are talking to the computers. Then again, we require at least a common language which could be understood by both the human beings as well as the computers. Now, human beings or computers ke beech kya baate ho sakti hai? Uska bhi ek example le lete hai. Let's say for example, I want to travel from Jabalpur to Mumbai. Then, I'll ask the computer, Hey computer, Mahashay, please tell me whether there is some availability in the trains from Jabalpur to Mumbai. The computer will recognize my request, will go to the server, will fetch the records and will tell me that there are some trains where the reservation is available. Then I will ask the computer to please reserve a ticket for me. Then again a communication will be there from computer side to the human being that it will ask the passenger details, the date of journey and so on. Again I will enter all these details and the computer will reserve a seat for me. Before that it will ask for the payment gateways and all. I will provide the information and the ticket will be booked. That is a simple example. Again, to establish such, of com such type of communication between the human beings and the computers, we require again a language. Again, such type of language which, which could be understood by both the sides. And such type of languages are, the examples are C, C++, Java and all. These are the languages basically which are used to establish a communication between the human beings and the computers and hence we term the C as a language. So I think the language is clear ki why we term why, why we term the C as a language. Now the second aspect or the second term that is we will discuss the programming. So what is programming actually? Before that first of all we should know something about the computers. What is basically a computer is? A computer is simply a machine which follow our instructions. Whatever instruction we, which we will uh, give to the computer, it will just follow, it will just execute. Then why we use the computers in so much amount? Aaj ki date mein, maximum task jo bhi hai, log computers ki madad se karte hai. Aisa kyo hai? So I think there are, there are uh, many reasons why we use the computers, but the important terms are, according to me, there are two reason or important reason why we use computers are first is accuracy and the second is execution time. Execution time. Other reasons will be there for example there is memory, weather, blah blah blah. Now we will take the example of or we will discuss first of all the accuracy. Now take the example. Let us say I ask you to multiply a number. Let's say this is a number. This is my mobile number. I repeat this number again. I repeat this number again. 
and I ask you to multiply this number by the same number again. What will happen? What will happen? I think if I give it to 10 students, then starting from the morning to the evening, all will solve the questions and at the end, no one can say that this answer is correct and I think all the answers will be wrong. But if the same question is given to the computer, what will happen? In, in the last case again, first of all the answer is no surety is there for the answer and also the time taken is from morning to the evening but no result is correct basically. Both the problems can be resolved by the computer. If I ask the computer to perform this calculation, there will be accuracy. We can say that the result generated will be 100% correct and also the execution time that is in within no seconds or no time the answer will be there. That's why we use the computers. So I think that is clear ki why, use, why we use the computers. Only two reasons, two important reasons. Do mahatvapoon baate. First is accuracy or dusra execution time. Now, ye jo computer hai, ye calculation karta kaise? Upar se bhagwan ne sikha ke to bheja nahi hoga. The computer is basically designed or the machine is designed by the human beings. The computer or the calculator is a machine. First of all, to perform the calculation, we must have to teach that machine or calculator or a computer how to perform the arithmetics. Now, there must be some way to teach that computer or a machine how to perform the calculation. That process is basically the programming. The programming is the mechanism through which we can teach the machines or the computers to perform whatever task we want. Take another example for this, okay, what is programming, to understand what is programming. Let us uh, take the example of again computer or calculator rather. So let's say this is a calculator. Through this example we will learn what is programming basically. Let us say this is a display and some buttons are there to perform the operations, digits, buttons and likewise. This is just a raw diagram for that. Let's say the digits are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Let's say there are some operation buttons plus, minus and equal to. Now, perform the task. Now, as soon as I press digit 1, this will display 1. Why not 2? Why not 2? That is, something is there in background which asks the calculator to show 1 as soon as 1 is pressed, not 2. Now, the second, second digit. If I press 2 now, after pressing 1, if I press 2 now, then it should display 2. But instead of 2, it displays 12. How? Why? Who is there? In the background, which asks this calculator to generate the number 12 after pressing the digit 1 and 2, whatever is there, that is basically the program. Yaha 1 click karna pe 1 dekh hai, fir 2 click karna ke baad 2 na dekh ke 12 dekh hai, aisa kyon ho hai? Koi na koi piche background mein hai jo aisa usse karwa raha hai, wahi kya hai? Program. So programming is just a mechanism through which we ask or we, we instruct the computer or the machine to perform accordingly. Hindi mein di hum log baat karein, to programming wo zariya hai jiske through hum log computer ya machine ko instruction de sakte hai ki aisa aisa kiya jai aur hume computer ya machine waisa waisa perform kare ki aur hume lage ga ki humara kaam hote jai hai. Aage aur hindi hum log is example ko continue karein. So now when this calculator will know whether the entry of the first number is completed. So the answer is as soon as I press this operation button, this or this, I have taken only two buttons. Then the computer or calculator will know the entry of the first number is completed. Now whoever has designed this calculator, he has also mentioned some memory locations to store such 
data or information let's say for example he has taken a number a memory named num1 another memory named num2 another memory maybe for operation this is just an example now what is programming basically now as soon as i press this plus button jaise main plus button dabata hu yahan jo kuch likha hua hai whatever written over here will be stored or assigned to this predefined memory location let's say num1 means this memory now will contain 12 now aisa kyun hua and there is again program somewhere it is written when plus is clicked or minus is clicked whatever is there just store into the variable num1 i i do not use the term variable at this level let's say this is the memory location okay now again as soon as the operation button is pressed it is written or it is mentioned it is programmed that just store that operator in the memory location reserved memory location op now the user will enter the second number let's say the second number is 10 again if i press this equal to button whatever is written over here will be assigned to num2 now again this is programmed Okay, as soon as I press the equal to button, whatever is written over here will be stored into the second memory location that is num2, and now the content of this memory location will be num2. Now, the computer or the calculator it is programmed likewise that as soon as I press this equal to button, whatever is stored in this memory location that is num1, whatever is stored in this memory location that is num2, perform this operation. The system will perform the calculator will per perform these two operation. and after performing the operation it is programmed that whatever is the result should be displayed over here so it will display let's say 22 that is the result so this is how the whole calculation is performed that is how the calculator is programmed in all fir se repeat yadi kare to yahan one press karne pe one dikhta hai to two press karne pe two dekhna chahiye tha lekin kya dikha tha 12 so jaise ki maine kaha जो कुछ यहाँ ऐसा हो रहा है बैकग्राउंड में जो कुछ है जो उससे ऐसा सब करवा रहा है दैट इज बेसिकली द प्रोग्रामिंग ना द थर्ड टर्म बेसिकली दैट इज द नेम ऑफ द लैंग्वेज सो सी इज द नेम ऑफ लैंग्वेज बेसिकली व्हाट इज लैंग्वेज इट इज जस्ट अ मींस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन टू स्टैब्लिश द कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन टू साइड मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन टू स्टैब्लिश द कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन टू साइड वॉट इज प्रोग्रामिंग बेसिकली इट इज जस्ट If I want की कोई मशीन है मैं उसे वॉश में करना चाहता हूं मैं जैसा कहूं वैसा करने लगे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई शुड इंस्ट्रक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली तो वो वैसा ही काम करेगी दैट मैकेनिज्म इज बेसिकली दी प्रोग्रामिंग दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द बेसिक्स प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई वीडियो चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज थैंक यू